Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I thought I would film my 32 week pregnancy update. I'm going to tell you everything that everything that's been happening to me during this entire pregnancy. I've got wind in my ear. Yeah, so I'm going to tell you guys everything I've been going through through this entire pregnancy, um, how it's been, how I've been feeling and everything and if you want to know what's been going on. During this part, my entire pregnancy, well, my 32 week update, how I've been feeling. Stay tuned and yeah. First things first, I am winded. As you could tell, I cannot catch a breath for nobody. <laughs> it's insane. Um, I feel like I, I can't breathe half the time. I will just literally walk from here to my room. I. I can't speed walk anymore because I wobble now. Yes, I've got pregnancy wobbles. I'm just like, like that. I'm walking like, oh yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Um, yeah, so I did do an update on my Snapchat last week, I think. Just a little tiny bit of what I've been feeling like that past week. Um, but every new week, I have a new symptom of some sort. Or one goes away and something from the first trimester comes back. Um, as I did an update before with like my 28 weeks, my first and second trimester, um, I thought I would do one four weeks later, which is now. Um, I thought it would be more better if I do it. But yeah, first thing, um, so as well, I've been winded a lot. <laughs> I can never breathe anymore. Um, as you can tell, I can't ever breathe right now. <laughs> for just talking um what else i have been feeling nauseous lately after eating um i don't eat a lot anymore like before i used to can eat with my son my first child i ate so much food in one go like it was insane um i could eat like a long 12 inch subway and go and get wings and chips four wings and chips after with two cans of drink like I could do that and eat cookies on the side as dessert like that was me my first pregnancy I think I gained a lot of weight <laughs> with that pregnancy with this one now I don't think I've gained that much weight this time around because I barely even eat I force myself to eat it is that bad it's come to a point where I have to like I'm starving myself which is bad but I'm literally have to get up and think force to eat I'm like what can I eat sometimes I feel like crying because I don't know what the hell to eat because I'm so tired I'm so tired of eating the same things over and over and there's nothing I'm really craving at the moment like proper proper craving but yeah um I uh not have any gagging since i gag once in a blue moon i only gag when i find myself when i'm coughing i will gag a lot um at the moment pelvic pain is a problem for me as well pelvic pain is a killer i cannot lie in one position for too long postman <laughs> Um, I cannot lie, I can't lie in one position for too long. He starts to kick my pelvic area and it hurts really bad. <laughs> um, his kicks now feel like, like they hurt. They don't feel beautiful anymore. They don't feel pleasant. I just, I don't want him to move. <laughs> Even though I know he's going to move. I'm like, I really don't want him to move because I'm in so much pain from when he moves. And it hurts really bad. So I'm just like, oh, uh, please don't move. Um, I can't lie on my side anymore, so I kind of sleep kind of weird. So I sleep kind of to the side, but like kind of like like sideways like this. Like, can't really. I'm not lying fully on my back, but I'm half on my side. Like I have to like cut that like like an angle. It's weird. It, it used to hurt my back really badly. I used to have to put pillows behind my back to stay kind of slant how I usually do. Um, I've been sleeping like that since 14, no lies, I've been sleeping like that since he's, I started to feel him swivel around, like move, little flutters. When he started his little flutters, I could feel them, and that was about 16, 17 weeks. 
um, so from that day on I can't lie on my side directly anymore I have to just lie slant and now that he's much bigger his kicks more powerful and they hurt really bad so now I just can't lie on my side at all I used to can take a risk and lie on there and I feel his little movements they're so cute he's now giving me ginormous big rolls and kicks and I know it's because he's way bigger now and um, mostly because he's um, a stronger he's bigger and you know he's just how he's positioned is probably really wrong <laughs> so yeah um another thing i've been having is braxton hicks contractions uh, they don't they only come on the only time i realize i'm feeling them or when i when they actually come on is when i'm i'm hungry and i normally I, like i said before i don't eat that much anymore i barely eat I eat to survive to be honest um the whole of last week I've been not wanting to eat nothing I just just don't feel hungry my appetite has been completely gone um it has come back to a limit where I am hungry and I'm like okay I will eat something but I'm like what am I gonna eat <laughs> but now I kind of know what I want to eat when I'm ready to eat but other than that um yeah my Braxton Hicks contractions they start from when I'm hungry so if I don't eat I start to have Braxton Hicks contractions which is bad that they're, they're the cramps I tried to track them the other night they lasted for like 30 seconds um they weren't real contractions because they I could feel that I know there were contractions but I knew there were Braxton Hicks because they didn't hurt they hurt but they weren't like oh ah like screaming type of hurt pain like it wasn't a horrible pain it was really uncomfortable but it was little cramps which felt like period pains which i know that those are real contractions but i don't think i'm having i don't think that's what it is um because with my first son i had i had braxton hicks contractions not around i think i had it around this time but they weren't i didn't feel anything till about the end like 36 weeks and up my braxton hicks contractions were very very painful and they felt real like they were real contractions but after a while they would go away um that night i was contracting so often um i think it was two weeks ago i think i was 30 weeks or less than that i think i was 29 30 weeks around that time my braxton hicks contractions one night just started to pick up they were really bad they were hurting they were, i was cramping it felt like period pain so I thought I was in real, not, I thought I was in early labor, but then I was like, no, I'm not because I'm timing them and they're not consistent. So one would last like 10 seconds, one would last like five seconds, one would last like 30 seconds where I'm like, oh, ooh, like it was pain. I could feel it. Um, I could feel that my stomach was tightening. So I knew it was contractions and I knew they were Braxton Hicks because they weren't, they were so irregular. Um, they were on and off like one moment I won't have them at all for like an, about half an hour and then they'll just come back so um, I've been having those <laughs> so I feel like my body's getting ready for the birth um, since recently about a week and a half ago about a week and a half ago I've been realizing my legs down my legs sides of my legs my inner thighs have hurt they hurt when I muscle up they hurt and then now I'm feeling shooting pains down my below area, <laughs> inside my below area. Um, I feel lots of pressure down there and I know it's because he's bigger one. I never had this with my first son so now I'm like, what is going on? Like, what is this? Like, <laughs> I didn't have this, I never had this at all until I was in labor, like feeling pressure down there. I never had that before. So this is new and um, this baby has always been very, very low. Um, I've been told that he's always, he's very low down. Um, and that's normal for a boy to be, normal for a baby to be low anyway. But he's really, really low at the moment. And I feel like I'm gonna go into labor very soon. I just feel like I'm gonna go into preterm labor. I just feel like I'm gonna go into labor like, <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna go into labor like 34, 
30, between 34 and 37 weeks. I feel like that's when I'm gonna go into labor. I'm, this baby's gonna come earlier than Jaden because this baby's super duper low down. And um, it's really uncomfortable now to walk. Um, I can't walk as much as I used to. I can't run. I can only waddle, wobble around <laughs> the place. And yeah, I'm. it hurts down there. It feels like after I've given birth to my son, that's how down there feels like right now. It hurts down there. It stings. Like down there stings right now as I'm speaking. Um, I can't sit up straight. I'm literally trying to lean back. I can't sit on, you know, you sit on your bum properly. I have to be like, like this kind of. But I'm trying to, trying to not to be like that right now. Because it's just, I won't look on, I won't look good on camera. So I'm trying to like sit kind of upright, but the pillow is helping me. So yeah, <laughs> that's what really helping me to sit up. Um, yeah, it's been horrible lately. Yeah, um, that's how I've been feeling. Um, he moves a lot. He moves constantly. He, like I said, gives me ginormous kicks and stuff. Um, baby shopping wise, I've got most of his stuff. And I've got like... The only thing I have left is, is the car seat, the push chair, and I think his baby bath. Which is not really hard to buy. We kind of know what we want. So, yeah. Um, I'm planning to have a baby shower um, in a few weeks. Um, I'm not sure. I'm still... I booked the venue. So, it's going to be a venue baby shower. The theme... I've already sent out invitations so I can kind of say the theme now so twinkle twinkle little star and it's all about moons and stars and a night time and twinkle so it's basically gonna be loads of like loads of pretty moon stars so anyone that's coming like any of my friends that are watching this now if you're coming um yeah um I was thinking of doing a themed um, I was always wanted to do a baby shower with my son, my first son, my first child. I was going to do a baby shower, I was planning to do one, but then I didn't bother to do it. Because I, one, one, I, I didn't, I was not bothered. I was just lazy to plan it and everything. Two, I did, I just, I was just lazy. It's just, I was lazy, that's it. Downplay, I was actually really lazy, my first son. All I would do was eat and sleep. I went to college as well, but I'm off uni for the year, so I have literally nothing to do but take care of my son and the household. And I can't work, I can't walk, I can't go anywhere, really. I can't even walk for long. I went to Westfield day before yesterday um, to get some of the last bits from my hospital bag. So yeah, my hospital bag is completely finished, finally. Finished my hospital bag, I'm so excited to say that. Finished my hospital bag. Um, yeah, so finished my hospital bag. I'm so excited, I'm gonna be filming that. But I'll be filming that later on down. I finished the baby's one as well. I think I just need to get one more thing in mine, I need to get a roll, but I need to just put my robe in, which I need to wash, so that's not too bad. So I'm just going to take, I think I'm going to take the robe, one of my robes from home, because I feel like that's so much easier. And I think that's all I have to put in there. And then that's it. I'm finished my hospital bag. Um, if he comes now, he can survive on his own. Um, he can survive. Um, so I'm, I'm happy I got to this point where if he does be, if he's born now, he's okay but he'll be in the NICU for a few weeks or whatever which that's why I don't want him to be preterm <laughs> I want him to come at 37 weeks after so literally guys um, I have five more weeks till he's full term I'm excited I can't wait I just I'm over being pregnant now I just want him out of me <laughs> that's how I'm feeling at the moment like I'm just over it I just want him out but anyways guys I don't want this video to be too way too long I feel like that's everything I wanted to say pregnancy update wise um I think so I guess um the next pregnancy update I'll do is in four weeks time I will be 36 weeks or maybe I'll do one at 37 weeks I don't know I might just wait till I'm full term and then just do it and then tell you guys what symptoms I'm feeling but yeah um yeah, I wanted to show you guys my 32-week pregnancy bump before I forget. Sorry guys, I nearly forgot. 
I had to switch the camera back on and do this bump thing real quick and show you guys my 32 week bump. So this is my bump from the front, um, from the side with my shirt down, um, from my other side, and then up, shirt up. I have some ugly ass but um, these are from my piercings, some old piercings I have, I don't know what that is. From the side, he's kicking me at the moment, really down low. I've got some stretch marks there, some stretch marks here with, like with my son had those still and then from the side and yeah but yeah that is 32 weeks pregnant <laughs> yeah so that's all i'm gonna be doing for my 30 week update video i hope you guys enjoyed this video give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys